Today we're going to show you how to get your PS5 camera on the PC. So first we're going to go to GitHub and we're going to find the PS5 camera files. So we're going to link down in the description for that and then download it to your desktop or wherever you so well please. We're going to click on it and we're going to go extract. Extract all that. Now bring the folder over here. So you can see the folders in there. Now it is time to plug in your PS5 camera. Once that's plugged in, then we're going to run install driver. And you can leave OBS open for this. It's not a problem. It actually works better like that. Install driver. Wait for it all to install. Now we're going to go in the PS5 folder and click on the Orbis iCam. Now that's all, that's all good. And that is pretty much it. So now we're going to go import and add video capture device into OBS. Now that we got that added, we're going to go down to custom resolution 1920 by 1080 to turn those two cameras into one. And then we're going to configure video and go over to camera controls and select auto. Apply, OK. And now that we got our camera added, we can go and we can add some filters. So we're going to go back to where we put it. Background remover. So we can blur the background if we wanted to. I'm not actually in this picture, but. And then we're going to go sharpen. And let's see, maybe some color correction. And that is pretty much it. We got our camera input. I mean, you can do all the adjustments yourself with all the. And the color correction, you know, you can add some contrast, saturation, maybe change the gamma, but we're going to leave that for now. Anyways, so here now you can set up your scenes and all your stuff in OBS and actually live stream with this camera. And it's pretty good. The quality is decent. Now we got one camera, two cameras. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Anyways. Background moved. Oh, not in the other one. <laughs> not too shabby for a cheap camera. Now we got two cameras. I mean, you could, because the cord is really long on the PS5, you could set it up way in the corner and do one of those crazy turns with it. But uh, yeah, pretty sweet. I'm actually quite impressed with this. And that is it, my friends. End of the tutorial. And if you like this video and it helped you out, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Never thought I'd ever say that, but hey, it's worth a shot.